far as lying in God. They have a beautiful cemetery. It's just going towards Bellevue. They want you to buy a lot in there. You don't have to worry about no bushes and trees. That's what Miss Stevenson buried at Terry mm -hmm. Forest Lawn and God. Where is it? That's going to 441. It's not in Bellevue, it's in Ocala. Passed by the old drive in theater on time. And they take care of their own cemetery. The family don't have to worry about taking care of it. They take care of it. Stevenson, son, her grandson out there too. She bought a, a lot out there. And they have some beautiful horses too and family cars. And they have, a, they have a little church back there for you know, whatever reason you want to have a memorial. What's the name of it again? What's the name of it? Forest Lawn and God. Forest Lawn and God going to it's beautiful back there. This teacher, her, our Afi, your black mother, buried out there too. She bought a family lot. That's where she buried. Rosalie, Peter, and Austin mother, she bought a lot. She are uh, out there. Rosalie, Brenda, Matthew, mother. You remember her? She was in your band. Yeah, it's a beautiful white, black Indians. It's a mixture. I said I was going back there and check it out. They had talked to me about five or six years. If I'd have got that then, I could have got it for five thousand. I measure now they going up. some pretty houses out here. <laughs> Westport. You're showing up in. One, the church, they got a church back there, they got all, oh, it's a huge cemetery. Yeah, look, Lorraine got murdered, didn't he? Uh, car accident. Car accident back 2004. Yeah, it was in the paper. Grandson. Yeah, car accident. Yeah, he buried back there. Forest Lawn and God. Yep, 2004 when oh, he was Ms. killed. Stevenson was, was up on it. She had ill her husband. They had to do nothing. She had already picked out her casket about 20 years ago. Pink and white. Tony would aggravate Sharon and Sharon would call but mama and mama be saying Tony behind. And mama would say you <laughs> Sharon would come up to me, you like them better than you do me. She was so And because the statement so I was much older, so she would always tell me you like them old. better than you like me. She Sharon like started six. talking no, to me five she was like years old. Five, six year old, but see I was so much older, so as an older brother, 
I taught Sharon how to walk and everything, but I was busy doing what I wanted to do, but Tony was younger, so Tony used to be in the house more and wanted to aggravate him. And he would aggravate Sharon, and Sharon cried or so and so to mama. And mama say, see, Sharon gonna keep getting your behind whooping. Yeah, <laughs> Sharon was a handful. Sharon would go say something to mama, and mama would go out there and put it on Tony. And I used to say, how come you just can't leave alone? But see, you know, I siblings, know, you know, siblings, we were young, you know. Sharon um, would come get up in my lap, you like to your bed and you do. <laughs> I remember this little dance we used to do. It was called the Tilt when I was in high school. I used to do it, and the Sharon used to try to do it. She really couldn't do it right, but she'd be trying to do a little tilt. <laughs> and she'd have one of her little boots. She, Mama had got her some little boots, and she'd be trying to do the tilt. That image is has been burnt in my memory forever. She'd be trying to do the tilt. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Is the man. big man in Ocala with uh, getting fuel in the snow. He's the big man. I remember Sharon used to come once we moved into the new house on Saturday mornings and Sunday mornings. Sharon would come and push my door open and shake my head and say, Get up. And she would step back because she always sucked this thumb, this knuckle. She didn't suck, suck a thumb. She sucked, she sucked that, that knuckle. Yeah. And she would push my door open. Rhonda sucked her finger too. Yeah, and I remember which finger it was. Right like now. it was. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 He sucked my finger. It wasn't the thumb. Yeah, yeah. baby. Yeah. Yep. So we sure had little warts on her little finger because she used to suck so that just, finger. Yeah. yeah. I used to have that too, but she it went away. Yeah. <laughs> Rhonda had them little. <laughs> yeah, Rhonda did that. Uh, and in the this. night that Sharon, when Sharon passed, when we um buried Sharon, that that night. That Sharon went into the room. Her image came to my bed and shook my bed, and I saw her image right there. The, it didn't happen until the night we lowered her into the ground. I remember it like yesterday. My bed shook, and I could see the outline of her body standing there. And she was the only one looked it like Moochie. <laughs> Moochie. Ronita was about long there together. Ronita just had another baby. Didn't you tell me, Ron, a few years ago? I think she did. Yeah. Somebody else told me about that, too, that she had, and had another little baby. This makes six. Yeah, I think Wante, the one, told me. Another baby. I know according to Wante told me the baby name is Sakai. Mr. 
But he was an old man too, because he his son, I think, done retired. He was a doctor, OB John of College. He done retired. And Mr. Graham and Dr. Gaynor, both of them died. Dr. Gaynor's son running that funeral home now. What kind of little cars is that, Terry? Them little bitty cars? I don't know what them is. Oh, those are smart cars. Yeah. 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 I see a lot of people out there in the shows got them little cars in the condo. Got those little cars. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They're electronic. You plug them into your plug wall. You plug them they don't run by gas. Yeah, that's what they told me. They don't run by gas. Some parts of Ocala, though, believe it or not, compared to other small cities, Ocala is not doing too bad as far as structurally. Because other smaller cities, oh they boy, gone. they gone. They just deteriorated and got even worse. I can see where they're trying to put money in certain parts of Ocala, but mm -hmm. the Negroes won't let them fix up the black side of town. But it's not too bad when you look at it compared to other cities, I'm telling you, man, it's, oh my God. In a third world country. The problem in Ocala, you just ain't got no jobs. These people ain't got no jobs, so they lazy. that we was getting those kids at home. I bet you this the bus took them on that field trip. Probably it was. Mm. And Dominique will be home Friday. Uh, yes ma'am. Yeah. yeah, they'll be home that spring break. I think that's uh, that uh, Stanley little church right there. Oh, that's it? <laughs> oh, it, it is right there. Yeah, that's I it. saw him on Facebook. Stan was up in there hooping and hollering. Yep, Gillings. <laughs> he he was in there hooping. Mama, he was hooping like back in the 70s. He yep, was going like that. Stan His daddy living in the shores. He had, him and Ella May had broke up years ago. He remarried to Lily May. And they bought a nice home in the shores. I see Gillian all the time, but he be in there, him and his son be in the hospital running neck to neck, him and Vin. And boy, that that could um that's Sonia Rim. Ooh, that's a big girl now. Oh yes, I met her in the uh Ooh. beauty supply Ooh. place. She was a little cheerleader and slim when we was in school. Yeah, boy, she's, she's a big, bigger now. yep. Katrina White too. Yep. Her mama not doing too well, Oreen. Mm -hmm. The one that one of her boys that loved it, white ladies, he in uh, Clearwater, he Rodney. come, yeah, Rodney. Rodney, he come see by his mama every mm -hmm. weekend. Yeah, Rodney, yeah. Yeah, he loved it, them white ladies. And he still do too. Yep. That ain't gonna change with him. He don't want no black woman. No. Mm -hmm. But that's good though, he help him out with Oreen, cause Oreen dragging the auction tent, you know. She have to carry everywhere she go. Cause from they room to room. He passed what about five years ago? Yeah, Spencer died. Oreen was sick then on oxygen. Mm -hmm. I told Oreen if I give up those Virginia Slims, she could do it. I'm glad I gave them up. Oh, you gave them up, Mama? I been gave it up. Ron, is she telling me the truth? Yes, I had to make her give them up. <laughs> Ron, you made her give them up. Yeah, no smoking. Smoking is bad. <laughs> And, and she been cigarette free, Ron? Oh, yes. She ain't yeah. sleeping at the Ron house. Get oh, no, 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 no. I can't stand to smell it. Well, me okay. neither. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah. Well, oh, Rhonda, we ain't put Rhonda, Rhonda, you oh, got yeah. something accomplished that me and Tony couldn't get accomplished <laughs> with her. Them Virginia Slim, we was in high school trying to hide her cigarettes from her. She stepped, kept smoking them. Yeah, that yeah, smoking was bad. Over there and had one girl <laughs> live with her and Rodney come help with her. Mm. Yeah. How long has it been, Mama, you gave her them cigarettes? About 15 years. No, nah, oh, it's been that long. long. Yes, yeah, it's been that long. 15 mm -hmm. years. I got heavy with I like to play that cash three. <laughs> <laughs> and then 461 came right back 146. That was the day Sharon aged, the day she was a bearer of her funeral, and the day she died, the first day of March. You and your mother in law, she said. 461. She gave them cigarettes because she let go to Cash 3. Yep, I like that Cash 3. <laughs> When we was on that cruise, Mama, I won almost, what, $400, baby? You did, with Ooh, slot machine. And the slot machine, the penny slot machine. Yep. The, the last, the last lot. day, Mama, I didn't even know what I was doing. And was I was winning and winning. Was I won, like, almost $400. My God. And they got, um, and about what it was, because Terry didn't really know what he was doing. We didn't, neither one of us know. We just sitting there. Because I don't there, gamble. I don't right. Gamble. We're just sitting there and how they have it now, Ma, you don't get the money out. You get this big you old get coupon. Slip, a, and you slip take, to and you take, take it, it up to front. the desk. And uh -huh. I didn't know what was going on, really. And I'm just sitting there <laughs> playing it. And, I'm and like, they said, um, and people start gathering around me like, boy, he's lucky. And they gather around me. I'm like, and I'm looking at Ceci and I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. They're like, who you about at? You winning. And I pulled the first one out. Then I put in another dollar and I kept playing it. And they like, ooh, he's lucky. And I'm looking at them like, you winning. My mom went there, I cashed out about $383. Off of $15. Isn't that something? That was, <laughs> it was shocking to us because yeah, we didn't even know. Because I didn't know what I was doing. And yeah. I was winning. They kept saying, you winning, just keep going, keep going. We had so much fun. Yeah. Penny machines. My you God. put a dollar yeah, in yeah, for yeah. a penny. Yeah. You put a dollar in and you just play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of people be talking about those slot machines. I, I remember back the 25 cents, 25 I'm like, mm -mm, mm -mm, no. Penny machine. I'm like, wow. It was so much fun. It really was. See, this part still looks the same to me. Yeah, it do. Mm -hmm. 